Welcome back to Achieving Freedom, where internal freedom is the goal. Today, I want to tell y'all a little story about the time I almost got attacked by a bear. Okay, so this happened a few years ago. I was actually delivering packages for Amazon at the time. When I delivered them, it would always be in the evening after I finished my nine to five job, right? At the time, I did live in a major city in Tennessee, but it's Tennessee. So if you drive 45 minutes outside of the city, an hour, whatever, you're gonna hit some more remote type of areas. So if you grew up in a more rural type of area, then you know as you travel house to house, it can pretty much get jet black. Okay, so I'm delivering packages and honestly, I'm not super comfortable because like I said, it's super dark. So I'm on the phone with my boyfriend at the time. And so I'm having a conversation with him and every time I go to like a different location, I'm like, talking about just how uncomfortable I am or how dark it is or how fast I'm trying to complete this so that I can hurry up and get back into my car and move on and be done. So I'm driving and as I'm driving, one of the locations I was going to a barn. So the barn was set very far off from the road and so I felt like I drove for maybe like half a mile. Maybe it was a quarter mile. Um, of dirt road before I finally reached a stable where it actually was like a gate to a ranch or something like that. And I was immediately like, forget this. Let me hurry up and find this package and get this to them. And it was slightly raining. So it was giving me a whole lot of horror movie vibes and I was not here for it. So I get in my car and I'm driving you know, I deliver another couple of packages, everything's going okay. Then I pull up to the location. And at the location, when I first pull up, there's the small bridge and water running below it. So I'm like, these people have a moat. There's probably a crocodile in here. There's absolutely no way I'm actually delivering this to their house. I'm gonna leave this over here by the mailbox. I don't care. But if you've ever worked for Amazon, then you know obviously you're using your phone. The Amazon app is using your location from your phone to determine where you deliver the package to. And so it would not allow me to deliver it because their house was way far back and it wanted me to bring it to their house. So boom, whatever. I'm driving through. I'm going slow because it's jet black. I can't see anything. This is a very country part of that town. So as I'm going through, I approach another ranch style fence. And I'm just like, oh my God, like where am I? I feel like I had already driven a quarter mile. And of course I'm doing it at about five miles per hour. So things are just continuing to get creepier and creepier as time goes. So as I continue to go, things are curving like this and my anxiety is starting to go up and up. And so I'm talking to him on the phone and I'm just like, you know, this really seems like the type of stuff where a bear would just pop out of nowhere and just ram the car, attack the car like, I need to hurry up and drop this package off so that I can go. Flip my camera on because we were actually on FaceTime and I picked the phone up and I'm showing him like, hey, look at how scary this looks out here. There's nothing but grass for miles. I can't see anything. And right as I am showing him, that's when I look to my left. I'm driving and I look to my left and I'm thinking, why do they have such a big stack of coal right there? That's weird. Do they just have a bunch of fires or what? I don't know, a bunch of barbecues? Like why would you have it stacked all the way up like that? Y'all, the next thing I know, the coal started moving. And I realized, oh, it's actually a bear. 
Oh my God, I freak out. And I start swerving. I'm freaking out, y'all. I'm moving. I'm trying to hurry up. But at this point, the road that I was traveling on had turned to gravel. And so I'm literally throwing grass all around. And all I can think in my head is like, oh my God, it's a bear, it's a bear, it's a bear. So I'm driving, I'm driving. And I'm like, I knew it was going to be a bear out here. I knew it was going to be a bear out here. So I'm driving. And then like, after I swerve around like this, because of, <laughs> I had the gravel going everywhere, I go back further towards the house. And in my head, I'm thinking, I gotta hurry up and get out of here because this bear is gonna be on its way behind me. So then I pull up to the house finally. There's a beware dog sign. So I got the bear on its way behind me and a dog in front of me. Screw it, I'm not doing this. I'm about to just throw their package. But drive for Amazon, you have to take a picture of the package before you leave. And I'm not getting out. like. I'm not risking getting attacked by a dog or mauled by a bear. Like, you got me messed up. So, I throw my car into reverse and I'm stopped. And I'm just thinking, how am I going to get out of here? My whole objective right now is to get all the way out of here. But the bear is there. And I could see the bear waiting for me. I could literally see the bear sitting there, like this big black massive thing sitting there waiting for me to come back. So I'm sitting there like, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to get out of here? Like, I have no way to go but forward. So I start to slowly creep up because I don't want to disturb the bear. I don't want the bear to bump into my car. I don't know how strong bears are. Can this bear rip through my door? Can this bear literally like knock my car over? I don't know how strong this bear is. All I know is that I see videos on Animal Planet and I just don't think I want to be in contact with that animal. So I'm slowly creeping up. I'm slowly creeping up. The bear starts to move. And as the bear is moving, I just got to keep going slow because I don't want to scare the bear. I don't want to make it come after me. If the bear is going to be relaxed because it's waiting for me down here at the end, then maybe it'll just let me pass. So as I'm slowly creeping up, I'm getting closer and closer to the bear. And when I get down to the bear, I notice that there's a yellow tag on the bear and then I realized it's a cow. <laughs> so I'm freaking out this whole time over a cow. I probably scared that cow way more than it scared me. I mean, when you're scared, you don't really know. And it's the fact that the entire time that I am going house to house, I'm thinking to myself, man, this just seems like the type of place where a bear will pop out. That's what I'm thinking the entire time. So by the time I saw something big, black, massive running towards me, or moving, period, because it never actually came towards me once I calmed down and thought back, I realized that I completely made this up in my own head. So I drive out of the stupid long driveway. I drop the package right next to the mailbox like I initially wanted to and I take a picture of that and I go. And it later, later it hit me. How many times have I thought about something in my head and felt like I was seeing that thing or felt like that thing was approaching me or popping up? Like, there's been tons of times where like, for instance, you get a new car. You've never seen this car before. You only seen it here and there. But once you get it, all of a sudden there's a million of them on the road, right? So I feel like it's one of those things where like once you put something in your brain or become accustomed to something, now you see it everywhere. So when it's that job that you want, suddenly you see 
things that are related to that job everywhere, you know. At the time where I thought I was being attacked by a bear, I really thought that I was using discernment in terms of, I knew it. I had already been anticipating this. I kept saying this is probably what it was. I'm in Tennessee, I've already Googled and <laughs> tried to figure out if there's bears in Tennessee. And it didn't say it was in that area, but I see a bear. So why would I, am I gonna believe Google in my eyes? Like, come on. Once I started to really think about it, it's like, was my mind helping me to discern the situation? Or was I having delusions? Like, did I create the image in my head that I thought was really happening? Because had I not already prepped myself, stop after stop after stop, that this looks like an, an area of bears would populate, would I have thought that that was a bear? Or would I have thought this ranch probably has some cows roaming on it. Sometimes it's, we're not even reading the situation. Sometimes we're not putting together all the pieces of the puzzle. I didn't pay attention to the fact that I was in Tennessee, in a part of Tennessee where there's not even bears roaming. Um, I didn't pay attention to the fact that I was on a ranch. I didn't, is that where they keep cattle? Anyway. I didn't pay attention to the fact that I was on a ranch. I didn't pay attention to the fact that it had a tag on its ear because I was too busy already painting the picture in my head and too busy jumping to a conclusion that wasn't even there. And so I really had to stop and think, how many times have I done this? How many times have I decided this is something I want or this is something I'm worried about or this is something I'm thinking about? And I don't pay attention to the signs of the universe painting for me. I don't pay attention to the signs that God is pa painting for me. I don't pay attention to the signs that are literally right there in front of me. You know, even if you don't have a source that you feel like is feeding you this information, if two plus two is on the paper, I probably should not come up with eight. Unless it's that new math stuff, but y'all get what I'm saying. Sometimes you have to stop and think, is this discernment or is this delusion? Because Yes, you may think a situation is exactly what it should be, but it doesn't necessarily make it true. And you have to take a moment to pause and, and check your emotions because sometimes it's your emotions that's actually driving the thing that you're suddenly witnessing or believing that you're witnessing. So, and I'm not talking about any type of psychotic, you know, hallucinations. Literally just talking about a situation where you believe that something is one thing and it turns out to be another. And I'm going to give this last final example. Um, I recently watched Catwoman with Halle Berry in it. And fairly in the beginning of the movie, you know, she climbs out of her window to save a cat. And when the police officer pulled up, he thought that she was a jumper and that she was attempting to take her own life. He ran up, he saved her, and even after she explained that there's a cat here, there's a cat here, um, he didn't believe her. And then once the cat showed up, all of a sudden he understood. So she went from being this crazy jumper to a woman of the had humility. So I ask you, as well as myself, to just continue to take a moment to actually read what is going on, pay attention to what evidence you have, and don't allow the emotions or prior experience that is not actually relevant to dictate how you see something and how you see a situation or how you operate in that situation. Quick, fast story, I hope you laughed, I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely laugh at myself when I think back on the story. And hopefully you like, comment, subscribe, and share so that other people can share in a quick laugh as well as take a moment to pause, reflect, and understand how to navigate situations a little bit.